Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So now we are using Kamunda Modeler, we are drawing a visual workflow and we are deploying it. But as we discussed that Kamunda is, engine is exposing REST APIs and we can actually interact through that REST APIs. So we'll have a look on to that, like what you can do uh, if you have just a workflow file, like I have this workflow file, I have saved it as a test as .bpmn on the desktop and I wanted to deploy it, I wanted to start the instance, I wanted to complete the external task, right? I wanted to get the, the all the user activity tasks in that particular workflow. All these are actually exposed through the REST APIs. So let, let's have a look on to that. So if you already have a BPMN, then what you can do is you can just go and hit this particular API, engine REST deployment create. You might have already seen this API. Here you can see the engine REST, this is also another endpoint what you do is you are providing a deployment name and it is indirectly submitting this XML file because every PPMN is nothing but this wide XML file, right? So this is submitting this XML file to our workflow engine. Similarly, if you wanted to create a deployment, you have the PPMN file, you just browse it and you just send it. So here I will just send this and this is the deployment and the key because this deployment already exists until unless you change something and you got this key and using this key you can actually start the BPMN and how we start is engine rest process definition and the key key is testing three and start so this is just a rest API doing the post and you click on it so this will actually start the, the BPMN we have defined okay if it is not started so this is how you can actually pass a different different bpm file and you can create the deployment and this is also another api uh, engine rest let's see what it is doing so this is what the workflow engine i mean our kamunda modeler uses and we will just see on your link code and if you try to browse a file here it could be multi-part form can be anything as a key and the value can be a file the engine rest is not found we are deploying it to engine rest only okay indirectly that might be using this particular only uh, which is the deployment engine rest deployment create this particular endpoint and it is just exposing it is just passing this test or bpmn okay so these are a couple of uh, rest apis which you should be aware if you wanted to uh, externally start a particular bpmn like you have only one master bpmn which is master of everything and you wanted to start it you just hit the key, define the key and do the post and here also you can define all the variables for the input like you wanted to pass some input variables before starting the process i mean a data feed to the starting process this is how you can do you can actually create the variables object and just pass it so i think how it looked like is uh, from the sample data this is json so something like this data yes so some data has this object this is the input you are passing same thing you might have seen in the kamunda cockpit when you are starting the process it is asking the business key and some input also you can add the same thing it is doing here you can actually pass some variable if you wanted to start it like this okay uh, that's it uh, thanks everyone